Hey everyone. Woo. What's up, guys? Hi. So uh, we're back. Uh, our second session today, but this is like it doesn't matter to you. So whatever. Uh, a quick recap of the last time that we were here. Uh, we met. Uh, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'm going to marry her. Amelia Clark. Uh, her Amelia, Amelia Clark. She only has one leg, but that's not going to stop our love. It's not going to stop us from running away together. It's just going to be a little <laughs> slower. Uh, <laughs> What's a leg got to do? Got to do I should have let you finish drinking first. That was inconsiderate. I'm no, sorry. Okay. Um, so she uh, basically took out two and a half vampires by herself, and we were like, woo! Um, <laughs> we found out that we will see her at the, uh, Vistani camp. She's at the Vistani camp that is south of where we are currently. Um, dirt may or may not have shot a hole through the inn we're staying at and almost murdered children. Whatever. Not you a big deal. You asked him to do that. I asked him to warm up soup <laughs> and he went a little banana sandwich. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I mean, uh, we all went to our respective rooms, uh, Shart slept. We got a letter from Irwin as well that we're going to read uh, in the morning when we wake up. And, uh, oh, and yeah. we leveled up. Oh, yeah. And we oh, leveled yeah. up. Uh, so we have some new abilities and some fun stuff. Uh, we have a, a very fun bit that will eventually become canon. So that'll be a good thing. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm a barbarian. You're not a barbarian. <laughs> I'm a barbarian. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's all we really got. And uh, yeah, DM, ready when you are. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try this new thing. I tried it last session, and I really liked it. So I'm going to try to pick up a little bit like previously on. That way it just gets us back into the mindset a little bit easier, a little bit better. Um, Dragon Ball Z. Yes. So at, at this time, uh, when you were sleeping, uh, everyone had a restful sleep except for Rufio. Rufio was visited by Hor in, the, um, in his father's old study. And uh, basically broke down that he needs to, you know, man up, but also he's checking in, letting you know that you are doing a good job. You need to just, he just needs to focus his energy. And how we ended was um, Rufio, just to kind of get you back into the mindset of what, how you're feeling when you wake up. Yeah. Uh, You know, you're sitting, you're still in your father's study, you know, like I said uh, before, you haven't been here in about, you know, since you were eight years old and you haven't seen your father's face and, and since you were eight years old. And he, you know, before he left to let Hor in, he looked at you and he smiled. And when you saw him, it was the, you know, he looked like he like he was a little bit younger than he was than you remembered him. And it's been so long since you have that. You didn't have any kind of like real pictures of him. You've had paintings, but those were destroyed in the attack. And, um, so you sitting in his study is, is overwhelming to you. And like I stated last time, your eyes start to well up. And, uh, a detail I didn't introduce before was you could hear him and your mother talking outside, just light conversation that they used to have. And you hear your mother's laugh for the first time in, you know, almost 20 years. And as you do that, once again, your, your knuckles go white. And your teeth just start gritting down and your jaw clenches and this, this white, your vision starts getting blurry and you just feel this anger just take over you and you, you're sweating profusely and you're crying, like trying not to cry and you're just so fucking angry. And that's when you, you wake up to the sounds of, you know, early Barovia, you hear Irwin, uh, downstairs with pots and pans clanking as he's getting breakfast ready. You're welcomed with the smell of, uh, of porridge. And as you wake up, your, your hands are clenched in your sheets and you've actually dug your fingernails so hard into your palms that they've, they've made indentations and bled and your, your jaw is just tight and you have to unclench it and you just, <clears throat> your heart's beating in your chest and you're just at this, this anger. Uh, and that's, that's where we'll pick up. Everyone is, is waking up. You're, like I said earlier, you're welcome to sounds of Erwin singing in Barovium to himself as he's making breakfast and you smell like, uh, this kind of like sweet, um, oatmeal-ish kind of like maple brown smell comes as he's making porridge. Um, and yeah, you're, you're waking up. Well, what's the haps caps? Mm. <clears throat> Smells delicious. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. 
<laughs> As I'm going by, I, I knock on all the doors and tell yeah. everyone to wake up because I'm very excited to eat. Okay. So you. Irina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, babe. Hey, girl. I, you, I got to see right next to me. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's called my lap. <laughs> as you're all waking up and getting stirred awake, you hear, uh, you know, a little like food. There's food downstairs. We're gonna eat now. I'm super hungry. Bye. And then Rufio, you hear by Irina's door, like, "Hey, girl, <laughs> <laughs> you want to come out? Like, you know, I don't know if you want to sit next to me or." And it's but, like whatever. It's chill. It's super chill. Like, I don't know if you have a boo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so you know, you just see her. You hear him just talking more gently too as opposed to his brash like get the fuck up with yeah. you guys and he's just very gentle and very like <laughs> loving I'd be such Irina. a good dad wait what <laughs> I want to put, put a me sized baby in you <laughs> um, and so slowly but surely I mean I'm guessing you all kind of come out and you're all disheveled you're in your like your pajamas and um, there are tables and it doesn't look like there are any other kind of patrons that are down there because you know it's early in the morning do i have like a wrap so i can wrap my hands i would say so you have like a cloth like like a linen wrap you can hands okay and uh you kind of do like yeah you just wrap your hands up uh yeah and you make your way down and um you know erwin has uh the four bowls and you see him with this big uh pot that he's putting porridge in he's you know, gesturing for you guys to sit down. Please have a seat. The jewels rest uh, easily, nicely. Yep. Sure. Wonderful. Uh, so please uh, enjoy the breakfast. I'm sure you'll have many things to discuss. <laughs> and with that, he just kind of let me know if you need anything, uh, water, anything in that regard. Thank you, Erwin. Of course. <clears throat> okay. So, uh,. What's with the hands? I just uh, thought it was a good look. Well, you're wrong. See that, Irina? He looks dumb. Don't make me hit you. Because it'll look like I'm hitting a child, but I'm not. Do it. You won't. I punch him. Shit. Roll an attack. <laughs> you could say non-lethal damage. Non-lethal damage. Okay, it's on two! So you see him kind of like try to strike for you and you just, you're so quick. You're just like, oh, maybe when I train dirt, I'll train you. Shut up, bitch. That's you. That's what you sound like. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't to train you. It was to teach you how to throw. I don't give a shit. You're an asshole. I punch him again. To go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, nine. Uh, what, 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 what? You're out of armor. So I would say, so your AC is like 10 and then you have to add your strength to it. So I would say you hit him. And it's just a, in the arm. I'm not trying to, like, Charlie jack him horse. in the face or anything. So, there you go. He just kind of winds up and just Charlie horses you in the arm. I'm going to sit over here. <laughs> Hostile. <laughs> I don't need this. I don't need this. You're luxury. <laughs> I'm uh, do we want to open this letter before or after we eat? Let's do it now. I just want to know. Uh, all right. Um, Irene is down here already too, right? She is. And dirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so everyone's everyone's together and everyone's down. So, Irina, you weren't here, and, and and I didn't tell you. I don't know if Absidy did or not, but we received a letter from Irwin last night, and we're not sure what it is. It just is listed to adventurers. That is very interesting. Very ominous, but... um, (laughs) When is it not ominous with this group? That's a good point. Uh, It says, Adventurers, you are requested for dinner. Please arrive to Watcher House promptly at 8 p.m. You are invited. Sincerely, Lady Fiona Watcher. Does that make sense? I have no idea who that is. (laughs) To anyone? I know dinner. I punch him again. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm too far away. You punch reach over. <laughs> I punch him again. You're not that. <laughs> uh, it's a four plus my strength modifier. I'm going to fucking hit. Uh, it's a four, so it's eight. So, no. Yeah, he's too far away. You're bad you kind at of, this. Your hand kind of goes like halfway across the table. You're like, I didn't know what I expected there. Dirt, hit him. Uh, but I'm. Dirt, I will hit you back. Dirt. Hit Dirt, him. I will hit you back. <laughs> I persuade him not to hit me. (laughs) He kind of (coughs) just brushes his arm awkwardly, and he goes, 
Yay. <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. He's little. He has little people hands. He might be, like, stealing things from me. I don't want that. I steal something. I steal his porridge. Oh, man. Oh, my porridge. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked up. You, you should have hit him. At least it would have been worth it. And I'll slide him my porridge. Thank you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> er, Erwin. Erwin. Yes. Uh, who is Lady Fiona Watcher? Oh, Lady Watcher. She's the one who wrote the uh, the letter for you. Yeah. Uh, she, who is that? She is. Uh, she is very regal in this uh, in this town. There is, of course, the Burger Master, but uh, she is she is of high influence. That's very interesting that she she wants to see you. Does it say why? Uh, it just says <clears throat> for dinner. Um, I do not know, but honestly, I mean, we can we can send a couple of people out to to close by in case any shady shit happens. Uh, yeah, I yeah. mean, I would appreciate that. What does she look like? Oh, uh, she is kind of uh, you. I mean, you'll know her when you see her. She's very regal dressed, uh, white hair. Um, would you say she's more or less important than the burgermaster? I mean, she is slightly less important than the Burker Master, but, it's close. but she's still yeah, it's, know, it's she's close. really high up. Does yeah. she look like some sort of dragon queen? Maybe a Khaleesi? Is it Amelia Clark? I don't understand. Does she have a bronze leg? No. Okay. She is a she's like about like sixty or seventy <laughs> like a woman. Punch him. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't understand. No reason. Uh, he's just delusional. Oh, it's part of the drugs. Dr oh, okay. Yeah, your porridge is so good. Thank you. I mean, but it's I'm just high. oats and water. <laughs> it's not, like, super great, but, you know, I make do. You put love in it, so. Oh, uh, yeah, Oxytocin. you know, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, she's pretty high up, but. I mean, it is not where. Uh, where's her residence? Because it we're supposed to be there for eight p.m. dinner, and oh, we don't know um, where that is. Let me see here. Uh, if we are facing north, I have a top hat. Oh my god! You have a bowl hat. Oh, but I also have a top hat. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, she is uh, further north. Uh, she's not too far from here. Uh, you, I mean, you really can't miss our house, but it is north up. Uh, towards the uh, Lake Zarovich. Great. But not like super next to it. She's like <coughs> just a few. Maybe it's about 20 minute walk from here. Okay. Not uh, awesome. You're uh, going to want to go east and then up. Heard. East and up. East and up. Uh, DM, do we notice Rictavio in the building? You do not. Uh, Erwin, what, what time does uh, Rictavio tend to get here? Oh, he's a little riser. Usually uh, he has to go uh, feed his monkey so usually he gets food and different kinds of meat to give to uh, Blinsky and then he usually comes back around mm, 10 uh, wh what time is it now? I would say it's about 8 Okay. so he might either he's already left I didn't see him he might you might catch him in pacing oh, thank you very much Erwin appreciate it yep. uh, yeah our, uh, Woo. Are we going to this dinner? I I, I guess we, we kind of have to. Don't really have a choice. <coughs> so, so, mm, sounds fun. I like We're going to need to put clothes on you. What you what, what, what's I have that four cloaks. To You're going need, to need at least two. Yeah. Front and back. Maybe we should go find some fancy clothes. I don't know if I they need to be clothes. I'm fancy. walking on sunset. Well, what kind of dinner is it? At least dressy. Uh, better. It needs to be better than what it is right yeah, now. Let, let, <laughs> let's go shopping. I don't like pants. We know. Yeah. You're hanging out, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> just <laughs> clothing montage. Um, so Irina kind of is is watching as you are talking, and she goes, what are we going to do about me? Well, we need to take the bones to St. Andrew's Church. Right. I assume... We will then leave you with the abbot. It should be safe for you there. Right. And you see this kind of like, she's been with you guys for so long at this point, And then she, it's kind of dawning on her that this is where you have to part. And she goes, that, uh, yeah. No, that'll be, 
what we should. Are we going to do that first thing after this? Uh, I, I think we have other things we need to to do around town. And if you have anything you need to do, oh, sure, uh, I I will write to Ismark. See uh, if we can please find out. out if uh, if Lucian has made contact with him. He's a small boy, and we met in town. Yes, I, yeah, I remember. Um, so yeah, so if, see if if he's heard from Lucian, and uh, yeah, yeah, write him. I don't, most definitely, we'll do so. Uh, ready? Break. Oh wait, before we go, hey, um, do any of you speak Elvish? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Dirt, do you speak Elvish? I don't. I speak a little orc. Ah, uh, that's not okay. Okay, I have this javelin. That's cool. And there's a little. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Why didn't you tell me that? I didn't know that. I, I, you know, mumbles an orc. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it's uh, and he says like in a very like basic like you know when you do do high school like Spanish he says like hi I'm uh my name is Fear, an orc. But I thought it was dirt. No, that's not my real name. Fearer? That's actually kind of badass. That was my grandfather's. Fuck yeah. Alright, back and to he me. He looks kind of like <laughs> confident. Alright. Focus. <laughs> I have a javelin. Can you read this? Are you gonna go do you did you bring the javelin to breakfast? I thought I thought we had everything with us. No, so I I, we're about to go. Yeah, we're in jammies. You're in jammy time. Oh. So you can be like, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And then you Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. And then uh, you batter, see, batter, batter, you batter, see batter, like Absidy come back with like this big javelin, and it looks enchanted. And he plops it in the in the table in front of you. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna text you what it says. Oh yeah. So uh, roll an Arcana check for me. Mm. That's not gonna be a good Arcana check. I'll let all of you roll it. <clears throat> Because I know that you know... Oh my god, it's a modded one. I know that you know outside of game, you uh, you know what you have to do with it. Oh, can I take this one instead? It's a 17. Oh, okay. So. I rolled a natural 20. Okay. <laughs> All right. My modifier is a minus oh. one. <laughs> That's awesome. It pivoted on a 19 down to a 3. Okay, so you're all looking at this and, you know... Shark knows what to do. Rufio's like, <laughs> okay, this looks enchanted and shark. You you've come across similar items as a bounty hunter when you did when you do your when you did your brief stints for you know getting money for your pack. Yeah. So basically, you can bring food and like shelter and things that you know normally wolves don't get the luxury of. But you know, um, you you run into something in the past where you've seen one of these before, and you know that it is a javelin of lightning, and usually they have a, a, a word you have to utter. Mm-hmm. In order for it to work, and they're usually etched on the side, so that's what it, what it most likely is that the the, whatever is written in Elven, is the trigger word for it. Okay. <clears throat> so, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I used to be a bounty hunter. You did not. It's weird how he keeps leaving things out conveniently. Hey, yeah. when you had a tribe, you had to provide for. You had certain things that you had to do. Tribe is a loose term. I think pack is more. Re- is more we're friendly. family you know that okay Familia. <laughs> anyways this looks like a uh, a lightning javelin so in other words there's a word that's on it that triggers it. that word has to be said anytime you throw the javelin i don't you know you the language lightning. that was impressive I, I don't know what language this is that's not my thing you said elvish i think so it's definitely not, definitely not halfling. I can, I can read El- Elvish. So if he can read Elvish, that's most likely what the word is, because usually the word's always written on it. Huh. You said it to me? I did. Uh, is it, it boobs? It it's not. 6969. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. So what, what's the word? <laughs> oh, that's such a dick move. Can I please have the word? No. But oh, I would dude, like to persuade you to have the word. That's nice. Should learn to read Elvish then, huh? Can you teach me? No. I'll give you my bowl hat. That's the last thing I want. I won't give you my bowl hat. <laughs> Good. Irina kind of looks at you and she kind of... And she goes back to her porridge. Gotta make him earn it. 
I stole <laughs> stuff for you. I, I mean, I acquired be the one. things. <laughs> I give <get> you. <laughs> Whatever, dick. Didn't you get him something <clears throat> from that? Um, oh, I got, I got nothing. I thought I gave you uh, something. He made you not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he made you not dead, and he made everybody not. He's dead. made you not dead the most. <laughs> That's not true. Fine, I'm just gonna not give you potions anymore. All for me. Okay. Okay. I feel like Can't this is very passive aggressive. No. Nope. Yeah, I mean it's kind of a dick move. I'm not gonna lie. Can't use your javelin, so. I can still use it. I'll As a javelin I'll only. I'll poke you with it. I will murder you. You won't. No balls. You can't even hit me. Whatever. Let's go. Irina's like, I'm good, and she goes up to her room while you guys are having this pissing like contest. You did this. Okay. Uh, so you guys go up to your rooms, you suit up, you get ready for the day, and what are we doing? Y'all congregate back, and Irina is in, um, she's in regular clothes, but she has a hood up, so that way she cover can keep face. it up, cover her face. Yeah. But she goes, well, if this is, uh, arguably my last day with my, uh, my boys, I would most likely like to enjoy it with you. Hopefully you drop me off. Is that Okay. Yeah, we're the boys. Fine, fine by Is me. That your group name, the boys. <laughs> we dem boys. Irina's boys. We dem boys. <clears throat> okay. It's like Jesse's girl, only not. I don't know if you guys knew this right now, but the boys are back in town. Wow. <laughs> I punch sharp. <laughs> Roll attack. <laughs> You're the punch happy over there. Uh, sixteen. <laughs> Roll non-lethal damage. <laughs> That's a D four. Yeah. Yeah. One. You take one point of damage as he punches <laughs> you in the arm. Tell the midget what's on the shoe on the fucking <laughs> javelin. I continue walking. No? Okay. Okay, so you, Rufio goes out and the, the four of you are just kind of like Irina goes out. Alright. Dirt follows and then it's the two of you and I'm guessing you go out as well. So you're outside of the Blue Water Inn. Where are we going? I would like to find either a blacksmith or tanner, wherever I can get some studded armor. Okay. Which yeah. I can wear, right? Light armor? You can uh, you can wear studded leather. Okay. Let me... Uh, You're a little delicate. I'm a barbarian. Okay. You're uh, not a barbarian. What else are you guys doing? Uh, are you all going as a group or to the tanner? I'd or? like to go. <clears throat> I'd like to go to the blacksmith. Uh, I probably need to sharpen my sword, and I also want to check in to see when I can pick everything up. Okay. Um, uh, see if maybe he's ahead of schedule, behind schedule, something. Well, I think we're also gonna go get more potions, even though I thought we cleaned that guy out. You did. Oh, we yeah. did. We can go see if he like. Too bad there aren't other people anything. around that you might have run into that sells things. Too bad. How long does it take Here. for um, Shart to make potions? Oh, it's going to be a couple of days. Okay, that's like a out of... Yeah, that's like a out of like when you're doing stuff like, like when in you're between. traveling. Yeah, okay. and then I'll give you like an idea of how long, how okay. many potions you make. Um, okay, let me just get the price for it. Dope. Okay. So, um... Yeah. <clears throat> so you go to the, um... The blacksmith and uh, he uh, Victor, I think it was uh, Pietro. Pietro, yes, Pietro, and he's uh, he's currently uh, working on your armor. You can see the the makes of it. He's like you know banging it on an anvil, and everything's you know bright orange and hot. And you hear this pinging, and it takes you about the group about 20, 20 minutes to go over. Uh, you're in the town square, and you see you know uh, all the different other people. You saw like. Uh, his neck and uh, all the different guards and so you go to Pietrov and he goes oh adventurers you are back <laughs> tink yeah I, uh, I brought tink. my friends this time He he's very soft and squishy and needs your help what the child yeah the I'm child not a child he's a child uh, so we are fitting him for armor what are we looking at child well <sighs> can you put studs on this I want to be a stud <laughs> Please and don't he, do it. He kind of looks at it, <laughs> and he goes, "It is you're not looking for metal armor. You're looking for leather, no? No, I'm kind of a quick, fast kind of guy. Man, adult human. 
Well, halfling. He's a kid. You're a kid. He's a child. Shut up. Child. Uh, he kind of looks at it With and a javelin he... he can't use. I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> he looks at it and he goes, "Unfortunately, I am I am blacksmith. I don't I don't do that." Do you um, know of anyone who can do that for me? I mean, there is uh, <clears throat> what the what are their name? There's Gunther and uh, Yelena. They are um, they're at the. Uh, Arasek Stockyard, you see where all those different things that they, they park and, you know, they're usually outside on their porch. Uh, they are, uh, they're not too far from here. They are about, um, a little more on the edge of town east. Are they the ones that were in front of Rick- Rictavio's freight car thingy? It sounds familiar, familiar to you, too. I know where that is. I don't maybe. think I can go. <laughs> <laughs> And I read and goes, oh, why, Sean? <laughs> uh, Still haven't found potatoes. Because I'm Sean. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go. Yeah, they don't know you. <laughs> they don't know me either. Uh, fuck you. I don't want you to come with me. Good. Dirt, let's go. It's, uh, nope. I do my secret handshake with dirt. Oh no! <laughs> they do have a secret handshake, so you do like the. Pff, 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 pff. It's like the Peter Parker, uh, Ned Leary handshake in Spider-Man: Homecoming. It's like this whole weird choreographed thing so that you didn't realize they had, but it looks like that they they have this weird like friend bond. Yeah, I hate that. Don't ever do that again. But it's cool. No. <laughs> it's it's not. very cool. It's not. He doesn't get it. I mean, it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Three to one. I could always stretch my legs out because if I'm with. Absidy and Shart can't go with, uh, and Irina can't go with Absidy. That leaves what? Sounds like Absidy's problem. You're not following me. I'm gonna go with Absidy and then I'll be back. God, uh, how are you smarter than me? And he goes, okay, let's go, Absidy. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. <laughs> and Pietrov is like, so little. <laughs> <laughs> Ting, ting. Uh, Pietro. I, uh, around when uh, do you think all of this will be completed? I, I know I this had... is strictly day two. I am working on the uh, blessed breastplate. Uh, I mean, you have shoulders, gauntlets, uh, boots. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have these suits kind of lying around. Not many people need them. Usually it's, you know, pots, pens, so it's it's kind of a made-to-order, plus I have my other orders. Uh, I mean, if I keep working straight another two days. And the, the Claymore as well? Yes, the Claymore as well on top of that. I'm trying to work as best as I can. I, I appreciate that. Okay. Just, just checking in. Okay, well, you know. See me, uh, I mean, two days, we'll see how my progress is. Unless you have any other requests that I can do. And help you and assist you with. Not really. Just uh, just that. If there's any way I can help expedite the process, I would I would like that very much. I will keep you in mind. Appreciate it. Okay. And he just he continues to hammer away. And anything you guys else would like to do in the in the shop? Uh, not this one. I I know we need to look for like dressy things, and we need to bring <sighs> Shart to uh, somewhere to be at pants. Okay. So, so you're just going to wander around for uh, it? Or? I, I guess I'll ask Pietro before we walk out if there's anywhere. Is is there anywhere around here that we could uh, fit the, the, the big guy? Get, get some the, clothes. I hate to, what is that expression? Rain on parade, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunther and Yelena. Really? They have a lot of goods. Great. Kink. Kink. Awesome. Kink. Uh, they are main export. They get a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> not like the flowy, like Vistoni, but like Regal kind of uh, wear and dress wear. We try to uh, get many things from different, like, man, burger masters and travelers. We try to make things special. <clears throat> Crap. All right, Sean. And Irina looks, I guess we are married again. I guess so. <laughs> and she goes, "Don't look so disappointed." And she and she she smirks and she gives you a punch on the arm. You took one point. <laughs> <laughs> you take fifteen points of radiant damage. She's holy now. Uh, Fuck. 
And I rolled a oh, natural, natural one. one. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shot! <laughs> Um, so yeah, all right. So we we I guess we followed Dirt and Absidy outside. So you the, and uh, I mean you Irina and, Dirt. and 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 Chart, all of us are all yeah. There. So I mean they have a little bit of a leeway on you. Yeah. Uh, anything that you want to talk to Dirt as you guys are walking over or um no, just uh I don't think we have anything to oh wait no does he the bros he doesn't speak Elvish does he no that that's right. you know not, you know of. Mm. Not that he knows of either. <laughs> you would have to ask him, though. No, he said he said he didn't. Yeah, he, he didn't ask him at breakfast. Yeah, and he said a little orc, a little orc. So how you feeling? You went down that last fight. You yeah, okay? I'm a little sore, but you know, um, it's it's fucking scary, man. I'm I'm I am literally. I feel like any day I'm gonna die here. Nah, like, I'm probably gonna die soon because everything is so fucking scary in this fucking hellhole. Hey, at least you're taller than me, though. If you're metagaming, I'm going to be so upset. Uh, I mean, that's... No offense. I mean, that's kind of a thing. I'm human. You are halfling. Um, nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, height isn't everything. You know? Uh, they have the story of, the you know, the, the young boy with the, the slingshot, slingshot fighting the giant Goliath. Um, oh, the Legend of Zelda. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, it's a, a little boy, and he wears green. That he sounds, has a slingshot. There's a big thing. He's fi- whatever. Very boring and tedious, and uh, that sounds exhausting. No, I, it's pretty cool. You just, you just don't get it. You just don't get it. You just don't get it. You don't get it. But you know, if this small person was able to defeat this giant, giant size and everything, I mean, it's not going to help me from not dying. It sounds like you're saying I can take on Rufio. Is that what you think I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, do you want to? You, I feel like you two need to like talk it or fight it, whatever you guys do out, because it seems that there are a lot. Of, there's a lot of tension. Well, You're he rubbing won't each other the wrong way. He won't tell me the word. I, I understand that. I was at breakfast. I know. Can you make him give me the word? Does it look like I can make him do anything? Maybe he likes you. I don't know if he likes me. He, he's, I don't. Well, I'm still building on that, man. I don't want to fuck that up. He likes you more than he likes me. I'll tell you that. Maybe you just need to earn his respect, like how, animals. How did wild. you earn his respect? I have no fucking idea. I don't well, even know if shit. I have it. But to be fair, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I grew on you. It's true. Maybe instead of me training and sparring with him. Maybe you do a fist of cuffs with him, and you try to, you know, try to see eye to eye, or... I feel like it's either going to come to blows in a non-healthy way, like, such as perhaps when we get back to the hotel, or maybe when we're traveling, when, you know, right after or right before we get attacked by more fucking werewolves, or we do it in maybe perhaps a more controlled setting, like outskirts of town, and we just... you just... Handle your dumb macho machismo bullshit. So you want me to beat up Rufio? I, okay. I'm not saying I can, that. I'm reading you loud and clear. I gotcha. Message received. Um, he's like, I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. Well, we're here. Uh, okay. So as you're as you're having this discussion, uh, Dirt turns back and he's like, It looks like uh, we've got company. No. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm Sean. Oh, you're sh- oh, hey, Sean. Why is he doing that? What and is happening? And me and Irina are married? It's a whole thing. Wait, don't- what? We'll explain it later. I don't know. I was with you. It's, I, have, I have what? You're a potato. I'm what? This is potato. He's not Now potato. I have another new oh. fucking nickname? <laughs> you're potato. You're, you're not potato. Oh, for God, Jesus Christ. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to just keep my mouth shut and not talk. That'll be a first for you, Fear. I, t- I feel like that's very hurtful. Um, okay. Message received. Ow. And uh, so I, <laughs> Irina uh, stands next to Shart, hood up uh, as they go through. And uh, so it takes a little bit, but you get to the, um, you get back to the stockyard. And outside are those two older people kind of on their 
the rocking chairs and they're just kind of hanging out. Uh, before we go up to talk to them, I grab Absidy by his collar mm-hmm. and pick him up and I go back like a ways with him. Okay. Roll what? a strength what? check. And if you don't want to get picked up, you can roll an acrobatics check. Oh, that's not great. 10? Um, 17? Okay, so you try to pick him up, and he just kind of ducks over. What are you doing? Pull his hood over his face and just drag him. <laughs> okay. Uh, do uh, uh, strength checks. Uh, strength saving throws against each other. Fourteen. Okay. Seven. <laughs> He's just, he puts your hood over your head, and you're still scrambling with him, and you manage to shove him off. It was the bowl. It's definitely the bowl. I couldn't, like, get a good grab. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you shove him off. <clears throat> Rufio, what, what are you doing? Uh, bullying you. Why? Because I can. Can you guys I hit him. stop <laughs> it with this kid shit? <laughs> I hit him. Just, you can try, but. Roll an attack. Nineteen. Armor class 18. Yeah. Uh, what are you hitting him with? Oh, non-lethal. Okay, then with your fist, it's yeah. not going to... You don't hit him. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Well, just, like, slap him in the face. Yeah, I just uh, I just respect him. <laughs> <laughs> Emotionally. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, unfortunately, you can't hit him. Uh, <clears throat> it's higher than his class. Yeah. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm going to stay back here with the runt. Real quick. I have a question. Am I your son now? Like, is that the angle we're playing? Gross. No. What? Because you said you, you two were married. Am yes. I like, who am I? You're still my squire. <laughs> you're, you're just you're hanging potato. out. You're with us. You're in the group. What? I'm just like, what? The, the, the slave boy? The sex slave the boy? Squire. In the Why story. are you thinking this? In I don't story. know. I'm not good at creativity, okay? <laughs> it needs to be based in fact, and I know people Dirt. have sex slaves. Dirt. You're you. So just introduce myself as me. No, don't. Just don't talk. Don't talk. Don't Got talk. It. That was the original plan. You well, had it. But what if they, stick with but what it. if they ask me a question? Respond You're... to the question how you would respond to the question. Okay. Okay. I think I got that. I yeah. think I got it. I, perfect. I, I, I'm perfect. confident in your abilities to not fuck this up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I will definitely not fuck it up. I, you know, maybe not. He's probably less confident now. Okay. While you guys talk, I'm going to pee. Okay. So yeah, I'll... Uh, you guys will go do whatever. Uh, I'm listening. <laughs> uh, I could murder you. You know that, right? I could murder you in your sleep when you're not paying attention. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, your javelin says white lightning. <laughs> Thank you. I still hate you. But, like, in a respectful way. I love you. You're the worst. (laughs) (laughs) So, can we call this squashed now? Uh, I wouldn't say squashed, but it's... It was never really a big thing. I didn't have an issue. I just... You just take things. It is beneficial to be patient sometimes. Think before you do something. There are consequences to actions. We're going into another Vistani camp at some point. If any word got from one camp to another that we were there, and then we left with everything, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Mm. And you saw how she fought. We're no match for that. So be good at stealing. I know, I know. Be good at being a person. Well, I'm a halfling, so. Well, you're still a person. I'm a half person. (laughs) Be good at being a half person. Okay. Fuck face. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> okay. Then we meet up with everybody. You guys good? Yeah. Hate you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. Okay. Did you did you tell him what the word was? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, I was peeing. So while you do, do you have the spear on you? I and you, you might. It back? I, I do. Have yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. So as he says it. <laughs> White lightning. Uh, you hear from the, your back because it's strapped on your back. You hear electricity crackle, and then you see you see a bolt shoot up out of it, and it goes straight into the air. Wow, man! If that could have been your head, I would have been cool. So take one of the. It's charges gonna be your off. head next. Take one of the charges off of it. Uh, I think it's only one charge. 
So, one charge. Amazing so that's it for the day. You bitch. I didn't do it. You did it. No, that was, that was to Justin. No, technically, oh. you did it. No, it was it. Well, yeah. What, He's it. the one that said it. Yeah, you did say it. You bitch. Mm. Okay. So, um, you all reconvene and you're back at the stockyard pile and you see, uh, basically, uh, the large stockade and you see, uh, obviously the wagon is still there and you see Rictavio leaving from the stockyard and he just kind of stops and he goes, Hello, everyone. Just uh, checking on my my wares and my goods. Make sure nothing has been stolen, which I am very, you know, concerned about. Has lots of my trunks, costumes. I, I thought fireworks. you stayed. It. I thought you were. Yes, but I still have thing. I can't fit all of that in the room. I gotta fit it in my wagon. It's my cart. Oh, sorry. You know, I, I, it, that's perfectly fine. We travel very light. Oh yes. Well, you know, circus performer can't travel light. <laughs> Do you have any, like, fancy things? Do I have fancy things? Yeah. What kind of fancy things? Well, we have to go to this dinner later, and I gotta be fancy. This is the wrong... We're talking to the wrong people. Uh, uh, no, I just want to see if he can help out, because, like, I want to avoid having to work with them again. I mean... Because they think I'm Sean. You are Sean. I mean, I have different costumes. I might... Actually, I might be able to... I, I might be able to fit you on something. I have to get... You know, my costume trunk is in my room. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's in your room at the, at the inn. Yeah, at the end. Oh, it's not here? No. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, do you have any- you don't have anything in your- No, it's mostly just props, um, like, uh, ring- like, juggling book pins and s different kinds of, like, swords that people swallow and, Can like, see different him? torches. I mean, why would- I don't feel it's necessary for you to see them. I mean, I'm just, Are you circus I'm performers? Asking. I mean, I maybe, kind of am. You don't know. I'm you asking. can do amazing things. I'm, I mean, would you like to be a performer? Yeah. If I may, see uh, your what you've got. Let me see your gusto. Okay, okay. I've been working on this one. So ever since we 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 jammed out together, oh, I yes. started I started writing this song. Okay, it's, write uh, song. It's it's about a guy who just like he did he did a wrong thing mm -hmm. to the, his lady love. Oh, okay. So this is autobiographical. Uh, no, it's like it's it's in my brain. Oh, it's in your brain. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's so, uh, uh, please, by all means, do you? I don't have my loot. Fuck. Yeah. I, actually, uh, Shark, can you give me a, a, a little beat, like a yep. slow, like a like eighty? Yeah. Baby, I'm sorry for how I acted, but if you give me another chance. I could be the buoy of your dreams, girl. And that's all I got right now. That's but I'm working got. on oh it. Oh my yeah. god. Oh my god. Um, that's good. Thanks, Shart. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have fantastic rhythm. That was very Thank good. you. That was please continue to work on that and then when it is finished, please. I would love to have you perform that with me. Yeah? Yes. Oh, that'd be Most great. Most certainly. That's oh my god, wonderful. So can we see inside your cart? I mean, there's like I said, nothing really in the cart that would entice you in that regard like you know please no persuasion can I roll for you can it you try if that doesn't work I can intimidate him can that's try. always fun you can definitely try 25 <laughs> 25 <laughs> okay I forgot to one up all my my proficiency thingies he kind of uh, he goes just just you, is is that is that the the presumption that I'm I'm having? Because he, I mean, he is the circus performer. Well, we also need Shard for his pants. Shard for his pants. That's back at the. It's back at the inn. Well, Rufio, listen and when I talk. I'm sorry. I was too. I was nervous about singing. Okay. He's not beautiful. About, but <laughs> he's my drummer. If I may, I would love to show you the card. Uh, okay. Maybe. And he kind of will be right back. No worries. And and as I as we leave, mm -hmm. I give a little like look to I think did I t I told everyone, right? Yes. Okay. I give a little look to everyone. Okay. To make sure they kind of follow up. Yeah. Uh okay. As you're walking, uh Rictavio kind of puts his hands on your shoulder. <clears throat> and as you're walking, he's, you know, not really saying anything. He's going closer and closer towards the cart, and you get to where the steps are. And his grip tightens a little bit. And he goes, I really know that you looked into the cart. 
I know that you picked the lock. And I know that you know what's inside. I thank you for not letting her out. But if you try again and you try to sway me again, you might meet her. Would you like to look inside the cart? But why'd your voice change? <laughs> and he just looks down at you. You open it and I'll stand over here. You know what's inside? And Yeah. So What do you do with her? Uh, did we did we come around? Are we? You're like, going. Within? You're going up towards the. Uh, I mean, you're keeping an eye, and it just looks like they're talking. So what do I? What do I do for with her? Is that any of your business? It might be. I saw bones. Let's hope it's not then, huh? I still want to play music with you. <laughs> any kind of smirks and he goes I don't have any musical talent but <laughs> sure you can continue if you finish your song I'll be more than happy to do that with you what's your real name we're not there yet please <laughs> <laughs> would you like to know her name the tiger or the saber? Tooth? She she he gestures to the cart. Oh, yes, Penelope. Come on, Eater. She's like a man eater. Paul and John Oates. <laughs> Daryl Hall. Hmm. Oh, she could. Well, you're only a half. It's man. good thing. Yeah, good thing I'm small. Snack. Well, it was great talking with you, Rictavio. I had a wonderful time talking to you as well. Go back to your other voice. Please. Oh, doesn't make you uneasy. It's just, it, it's it's more fun. Sure. And he releases the grip. And he gestures either towards the card or towards the back to your friends. I go back to my friends. <laughs> Good choice. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. <laughs> And he goes, au revoir, my friends. I will be back at the Blue Water Inn with another rousing performance. Please, Absidy, when you finish your wonderful song, I would love to play it with you. You already have a drum machine. And he smiles and he walks away. I'm Sean. <laughs> We've already called you Sean. Lovely, like Sean. Four times. Lovely. Lovely to meet you, Sean. Make your acquaintance. What happened? Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I peed a little. <laughs> that is not even his real voice. What? Yeah. He talks just like everyone else in the accent that I can't do. And that that tiger, he called it Maneater. And he and he didn't laugh at my jokes. And he said he has no musical ability, but I still want to be in his he band. He said that to you before, too, that he had no musical talent. Yeah, but now he said it for real. Oh, okay. Now I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't believe okay. him before. Okay. He was just being modest. Now he's that terrifying. Was... So, uh... Uh, so... He's not good. Uh, we gotta keep an eye on him. I don't know what he's doing with that tiger. Or the line, the thing with armor on it. But <laughs> it's, uh... It's not. It's not good. No. Okay. So... Okay. We should still try to... We'll pretend I didn't tell you that. But let's get you pants from him. But otherwise, keep Let's an eye on him. Let's just get pants here so that we can I know he's him an if asshole, we need to. but I still like him. We're going to kill him. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, cool. I, I, I don't know if we should kill him yet. After the pants. Aren't you the, the wolf person? Aren't you the one who's like, mm, I got to kill to keep my family safe? Blah, blah, <coughs> no, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah. you can do a better voice. <coughs> yeah, first off, bad impression. Second off. We still need information out of the guy. That is a fact. We don't kill him until we have the information. That's obviously. why I'm saying, hold up. <laughs> I, then are you dumb? What's happening here? I don't understand what's happening. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm the dumb one. You guys are the ones that are flipping the shit. I also got to say, uh, we, there is precedent where we needed information from someone and uh, you killed them try before to. we could get it. Didn't, didn't try to. Try to actually whatever. kill them. Oh, good. You failed. Fair. Yes. <laughs> Accurate. Lots good of hostility. Job. 
Love you. We're friends now. I'm gonna punch him in the arm again. <laughs> Can you stop fucking hitting everybody? That's a that's a strength modifier as well. It's yeah. I 14. dodge. Fourteen. What do I do for dodge? Uh, uncanny dodge. Uh, you, that's your reaction. So you take uh, half damage. Well, no. Can I just like it's if a, I just want to have him not hit me? Wait, what did you get? A fourteen. Oh, then so yeah, he misses you. Okay. Oh, is that your armor class? His armor class is thirteen. Got it. Then yeah, he hits you, but you can take it at half damage. Okay. I non-lethal. Okay. Just as like a that's fuck fine. you. What'd you get? Hey. I rolled a fourteen. Uh, uh, I have to roll attack as well. That was bad. One. So if zero. You, yeah, if he uncanny dodges you, it's just kind of like. Wait, it's not like uh, it's not like shards where halved is still one. Like if three. I'm gonna halved. say only because it's it's non lethal. Oh, it's okay. not. Yeah. It's not gonna hurt. It just stings a little. It tingles. You don't take any hit, damage from it though. I take out the javelin and I point it at him. Yeah. And I say white lightning. And nothing happens. And then I'm like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I punch him in the face. Okay, go ahead and punch. Roll an attack. Horde. <laughs> Uh, 13. So, no, I lied. Uh, 11, sorry. So, he misses. misses. Yeah. Okay. So, he actually swings at you with real intent to really hurt you. Do it again. Dirt said I could beat you up. He lied. I didn't say any of that. I wasn't here. <laughs> you doing this? We doing this? Are we rolling no. for initiative? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm for it. <laughs> Let's just get the armor. It's, it's not armor, armor it's clothes. Pants. He's getting armor. I'm getting armor. Not from these people. Oh, these yeah, yeah, the tanners, that's right. Cool, let's do it. <clears throat> and Irina, and so the group, you all come up and uh, you see the, the two older people like, Oh, Sean. Uh, I I'm forgot, Sean. I forgot what we said Irina's name was. I, I think I she said Irina. I think, yeah, I don't think she changed her name. Yeah. I don't oh, know if she even Sean, Irina, Sean, Irina oh, did you find your dog, Potato? <clears throat> no, Potato's still gone. You seem very upset, Sean. I'm a little frustrated, but now we have to go out to some fancy dinner tonight. And Oh, you were going to a dinner. How lovely. <clears throat> yeah, and apparently, I don't know if you could tell, but I kind of need some pants. <laughs> I did I did see that you are, how the kids say, hanging brain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, um... You're, you're very hip with the lingo. Oh, you know, you tried to stay young. <laughs> <coughs> Pietro said that, um, you guys might be good people for some pants. Uh, we do have, uh, many different things in, uh, we are mostly, like, uh... We, we are proprietors of many things, like, we have, a. Uh, I think Victor was the, the main guy that you got potions and shit from, right? I think yeah. so. Yeah. So, Victor, uh, he is more of a specialty store. We we kind of have a little bit of everything. Like, we are more pop-up shop. So, what is it that you are looking for besides pants? Just pants? Uh, probably pants and, like, um, I'm probably not going to get, like, a shirt or anything, but, like, a cloak. No, he's going to gonna get a it. shirt. He's going to get a shirt. I like to be he, buff. He's going to get a shirt. Uh, Gunther, if you would like to look in the back, see if we have anything in that size. <laughs> no offense. Uh, no, I'm big. I got it. Yes. Uh, if we have anything in big and dull. Question. Yes. You guys happen to have anything in the uh, in the realm of, like, potions? Uh, like, healing potions? Healing potions, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we have those. Oh, okay. Set them there we go. That's, that's nice. Thing. I mean, Do you have, we, what we, about studded armor? I think we may have gotten the. We might have gotten some. Uh, I can check in the back, Gunther, if you would like to check. Okay, I got a big one and little one. I look in back. Uh, medium one. Medium one. Well. You need. You need uh, like what? Formal uh, wear? Or are you looking for studded? What are we slightly, doing? slightly more formal. Uh, my, I like you. The you red. have. You actually have formal clothes from your normal oh, background. I? Okay. Mm -hmm. You have like your regal. God. That you would bring with you, yeah. As a, uh, yeah. All I have is traveler's clothes. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll get a new because uh, my I would assume my red cloak is it's tattered, fucked up. Yeah, yeah. So I'll get a new. I'll just want a new. Certainly, I'll see if uh, we. I, I will see if we have anything in the bake. Uh, do you uh, do you guys have any anything enchanty, spell ish? No. Do you know of anywhere I could go? To not find? in Lockie. Definitely not. Uh, this is not very magic town. No. Uh, there was a wizard, though, right? There, uh, oh, yes, long... there was a wizard. Oh, <laughs> disappeared a very long time ago. Is there a, a, a crypt anywhere where there, his remains are or anything like We've that? We've never seen them. We don't know if he's dead or alive. 
didn't know if there was like a statue where you would worship him or... I don't normally leave the lucky, but sure. Okay, thank you for all your help. I'll be quiet now. And anything for you, uh, boy. And Dirt's just like... How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you, and how are you? It's nice weather we're having, right? I, I, uh, yes, I, I, I give Dirt a, a, firm, a firm slap on, on the back. I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder. I'm doing what you told me to do. Ask questions that you would want to ask yourself. He's... He's just a little... He doesn't get out very he's often. He's slow. <laughs> I'm not slow. I'm actually very intelligent. I'm very book learned. I'm gonna... It's it's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. And I'm gonna drag Dirt outside. I'm fair. I'm yeah. the... Yeah. Nope. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I come from... Fuck. Uh, I have fire shit. hands. I have fire hands. I'm Sean. <laughs> uh, I'm Firefist. <laughs> I'm Firefist. We're like Big Pack and Tui. Uh, wow. Two Pack and Biggie. <laughs> Big uh, Pack and Tui. Tui. <laughs> uh, that's so great. Big Pack and Tui. Wow. <laughs> My dyslexia is not doing well today. <laughs> New okay. band name, I call it. <laughs> two Pack. Name your sex tape. <laughs> Big, <laughs> Big Pack and Tupi. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, a couple minutes pass. Uh... There is um, regular-sized studded leather armor that they take out. Uh, it is um, for studded leather armor. It is about um, forty-five gold. Uh, we will have to make some alteration. Uh, unfortunately, we are using miss less material, but it will take more time to fit. Uh, we can do it definitely, but there may be a higher price. How much and how long? Um, most likely, uh, you, uh, we can get it. I can get it done in about a day. Um, so it should be ready by tomorrow morning. Uh, but a uh, sixty-five gold total for the labor and involved. I, I would put in extra twenty gold for it, since we're using less material. Say we were making it for him, then it most likely would be like hundred fifteen, one twenty-five. I mean, that sounds fair to me. Okay, so you uh, can choose to pay up front. Um, that way, I know that you are coming back for it. Uh, can I give you... <clears throat> can I trade you these? Uh, this jewelry for it? It's worth uh, about... I, gi- I can give you these three pieces. It's worth about 75. I would not mind that. Not one bit. And she puts her hands out and... Yeah, you make your transaction. And she. Uh, you see Gunther kind of come over with like a little tape measure. And he starts... Measuring out like wingspan and chest, trying to make sure that it meets your measure measurements, inseam, all that good stuff. Uh, and then in the meantime, it's he he writes down and he marks it down and he goes, "Okay, we will get ready for this." You, um, we have a few things. Uh, okay. There is um, it was weird how we got this. It is um, very formal. It has um, jacket pants. Do you need shoes? Yes. yes. Okay, so... I guess. <laughs> these are, um... We don't have shoes that might fit, but, uh, and takes out this very big... I, I can't actually lift it up. It's very big. Uh, but tries their best, and it's this long, like, petticoat that has coattails that come out, and it looks like it maybe like a half-giant wore it. And then also pants that kind of go with it. I would have to make alteration and no offense, but uh, I can put it ahead of measure and then I can have it ready by your dinner tonight. You just have to come by, pick it up. <clears throat> okay, um, how much are we talking? Mm, for alteration and for fancy clothes, mm, 35 gold? <laughs> He'll take it. I guess <laughs> I don't have a choice. Okay, that uh, and... You know, Gunther kind of comes over and he's doing like chest span, wingspan. He's doing the whole kit and caboodle. He actually puts the jo- jacket on chart and it looks kind of big. And you're very surprised by that. It's kind of like a kid wearing like an ill-fitted suit. Like the it, nothing so kind of fits right. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So he's like pinning things back and he's getting all the measurements and he goes, I will have this ready. And uh, yeah, when is your dinner? Uh, eight, 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 eight o'clock tonight. Oh, eight o'clock. I'll get this way done. Do you that. need... Fancy Did, things. I feel like I started out with something. I don't remember. Um, can Can you hear me the book? I don't. I don't know if. Uh, I know you have a disguise kit, right? What is What does that thief? entail, though? It's a mask. 
Oh, that's so you can make a mask of yourself, like a realistic mask um, or something. So I have a top hat. So if you have anything that can match that, uh, is it that fancy? Do we know that's what we're getting into? I mean, Erwin said multiple times. <laughs> regal? He said regal a lot. Then yes, I would like something to match a top hat. Okay, I can see if they have something in back. Can I see the top hat? Yeah. Uh, May I have oh, it? Oh yeah, here. Thank you. I don't think I do. And Gunther leaves. Is there anything else besides that? You said potions of healing, yes. But yeah, just like see for? what you got. Or holy water. We don't have that. We, we're gonna have, we go to the church later. We'll get those. I'm just wondering. You uh, seem like God loving people. I, you know, we just, we try our best. Garlic? We try to do our best. Um, Praise be. <laughs> Praise be. Touch her skin with a silver piece. <laughs> <laughs> and Just also with you. <laughs> um, shit, I lost the page. I am in. Have you already gone to the blacksmith? Yeah, yep. we went. That's where yeah, we all went with you. That's, that's where we right. Came okay, from. okay. I so, was just thinking about because I have this dagger, and mm-hmm. I could coat that in silver, mm-hmm. and start using that offhand. Yeah, I mean we can go back that way. I think the abbot is that way. Yeah, I mean it's secondary. Yeah, <clears throat> we can hit it on the way back. Oh, uh, I'd does also it, real quick. Yeah. Um, it's buying me money. Time. Silver. Me. Does that what? Does the money silver like if you melted it down? Could melted you it down, it? or could I like throw it at a at a vampire and it do anything? Uh, With his minus one strength, if he threw it, <laughs> you can try it. But but it's it's still silver, right? It's still silver. And dirt has fire hands, and fire melts metal. I tried to get him to heat up soup, and he blew a hole in the inn we're staying in. I think he's gonna right be able to next control to you. It. I'm here. Dirt. Okay, here's my thought. What? I'll get a bunch of silver and we put it on top of a vampire. You melt it and then it yeah. melts all over his head. Like this show that doesn't exist yet called Game of Thrones. That sounds very trite and like people with soft wieners walking around and like they talk about dragons There's and then you don't see of, dragons for like ever. It's a lot of soft wieners. It's a whole lot of <laughs> floppy wieners. But but really, but to, to DM, is mm-hmm. the silver money, is that something that can be used? Uh, I don't know. No, but this is like a point of... I know it's a point. Of inquiry. It is. He doesn't have to answer your questions. This is what he's basically he getting at. But you I'm can confused. shoot your shot and try it. Okay. You can always shoot, do that. You can shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Fail. Shoot or shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot or shit. Just do it. Uh, fucking do it. Yeah, I think we should also it. go back fucking party. into the, uh, the residence in which we murdered six vampires last night. And Oh see yeah, if that man can speak at all. <coughs> I doubt it, but <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> I mean, you extra broke his jaw. Yeah, yeah I did. Uh, potion of healing. I'm sorry. Uh, they they are a little scarce around here. They're about seventy five gold a piece. Seventy five. Why so many? How we many don't... do you have? We have about three. I mean, the other shop only charges fifty. He is most likely out at this point. That's why we can charge at 75. That's true. It's You're called mean. inflation. <laughs> Economics 101. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, we're already buying a couple other things here. Is there any way that you could cut us a break and maybe come down to, say, 55? Uh, roll persuasion. Please. That is... 16. 16? She goes... Okay, the fifty-five. If you buy two, I will, I will run you a hundred the gold pieces. Hundred. Hmm. You said you have three. If you buy two, but you have three. She has three. Yes. So we if we buy three. three, can it be one forty? Hmm. Please. I would most likely do. Uh, I would do one fifty. Yeah. Okay. Three. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, please. <laughs> you said that already. Oh, I can roll for persuasion. <laughs> you said that already. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, so, how are we doing this? Fifty each. Fifty each. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's fine with me. All right. You guys give up the gold. You each get one healing potion if that's how you're doing it. Well, no, because he, he's going to hold them all. Okay. I think. Sure. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, anything else that, that, that you would like to do? That's true. He did that thing, and that was bad. Well, that's why I have all this here. He's bad. He's bad. Yeah. He's my dog. He's How, bad. Uh, He's my dog. He's bad. <laughs> Shark. How, yeah. How much money do you have? Actually, this can be out of character. How much money do you have? I'm just trying to figure uh, out. I have quickly. 96 copper. No, just the gold. Eight, uh, 233 is what I'm at right now. Okay. So I... Sh- and you bought... You bought all the potions before, too, right? No. I don't believe I spent the money on those. At least not all of it, because no, you, you trade. We traded a lot of. Uh, oh, that's right, gems. the gemstones. Okay. Okay, I think I know ex- ish where I'm at. Josh is bad at keeping track of the money he doesn't have yet. That's I how he it. classifies money. It's just money I have, money I don't have yet. <laughs> okay. I invest. What else are we doing? Anything else we need? Uh, want to go talk to funeral guy? Broken jaw man. Okay. Or at least attempt to. <coughs> okay. Uh, and then we have to Vanderbilt, take right? Irina to the Abbot. Okay. Anything else you want to like try to buy or any kind of other sell sale things? Is there anything else we should? What do you guys know about uh, Rick Tavio? He's been around here for a little oh. bit, right? I mean, he is. Um, he. Uh, good guy, bad guy, good guy. You see him kind of like, I wouldn't say tense up. But they seem, I wouldn't say uneasy either. Um, Weary? Weary? Not weary. They just seem kind of like... Hungry? We are... um, Drunk? He's he's very odd. Uh, We watch his cart for him, and we don't ask any questions. He pays us very well, very handsomely. Fair enough. Gold. Mm Mm-hmm. So... You come back around six, I will have your suit. Sounds good, thank you. I do the sign, Gunther says. Oh, did I uh, mine? get my cloak? Did they have oh, one? Yes, sorry, cloak. Uh, cloak. And how much is that going to uh, me? It's, uh, it's a red cloak, it's silk. Um, it's not like yours, Ooh. which is like made out of leather or anything. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really... It's it's going to wear and tear pretty easy, but it's uh, about ten silver. Ten okay. silver. Just give him a gold piece. Okay. Oh, well, thank you very much. So nice. So nice. Nice boys. Hey, you cut us a deal earlier, right? That's the reason you did that? Uh, he's dumb. Don't listen sure. to him. I'm Sean. I know that, Sean. I hope you find your dog. I miss potato. You look like you look very strung up about it. I will. We've been keeping our eyes out, though. We tried to. We put a uh, steak outside oh, every night that. to see if you know maybe he'll come back. It's my little Yukon golden boy. That uh, seems very I'll, sweet. I'll like lean over to the side, make uh-huh. eye contact with her, and be like, "Potatoes, Dad." <laughs> <laughs> to what, who Gunther? Oh uh, yeah. Oh no, he doesn't know. Oh no, are you making shit up again? I don't know what you're we talking about. We will continue to look for a potato. Thank you. Roll inside. Damn, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a nine. You're good. Like a small child being told that the tooth fairy is still is real. Ten. Well, technically you ten. see them saying we will still look for them, and it looks like they're lying to, to save you from any kind of hurt. Because as they, they, they think potato's dead. It's actually yours. <laughs> yeah, th- thanks for that. Okay, what else? What Still else we doing? Taking my shit How we doing? Out. What are we doing? What's going on? What are we doing? Um, oh, what about <coughs> my stuff? My my fancy clothes with the top She's, hat. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, th- damn it! I keep forgetting. Sorry. Okay, I keep forgetting. Yeah, um, yeah you guys are old. Whatever. So they they go in the back and they get a what looks like to be a child's like. <laughs> like christening outfit where you know where it's like the big ruffles and it's like a little petticoat and you have little like pirate cuffs and shit and little like little nice dress shoes with a buckle over it and he goes we have this this is from baby <laughs> oh god <laughs> baby diamonds <laughs> baby diamonds do you room. know that a baby diamond <laughs> Did you know that when a baby dies, they have to dress to a breast? Jesus. <laughs> so, but we do have this. This was from unfortunate accident with child, and there was open casket. Did a baby died well. here. <laughs> he died in this room. Uh, no, 
Uh, this is this is close from infant, um, not from great event. We have cleaned it. We've had this in our possession, just in case you know baby die again. We have suit ready to go, uh, but we are more than happy to okay. give or rent. But I'm larger baby than suit. a baby. <laughs> you look at it. I'm you drinking. look at it, and it looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it would fit you. I'll take it. <laughs> he said you give. No, you, she said give. She said either rent or give. Yes, give. Okay. She didn't say for money. Okay, so the price for this is about 15 silver. A baby died on this. Come on, we're not going <laughs> to be charging gold for this. Uh, Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. And she hands over these, like, crushed velvet, like, baby suit with, like, per- like ruffles. And oh, is it purple? Actually, oh, we'll just... We'll, purple. Uh, we'll pick it. I'll dope. pick it up when uh, we come back and get And it goes perfectly Sean's with thing. your top hat. Okay. I mean, we can try it on, make sure that it doesn't need any adjustments. Yes. Yes. We need to try it on to make sure it doesn't make oh, any adjustments. Fine. <laughs> Absolutely goes in and he comes back in and this thing just fits like a glove. Except maybe like maybe the sleeves are a little Uh-oh. bit like long, too long. <laughs> <laughs> and the shorts are a little too long, but, but they look good. And you're it's wearing at that point when he comes out, I take out my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Irina looks and she goes, "You look very nice. You look like a baby died there for a dead baby. <laughs> <laughs> you look very, very proper. Like very. very proper. I like these dead baby. You're a dead baby." You're wearing dead and baby so clothes. Gunther comes over and he pins things down and he goes, "I can get these definitely done before six. I mean, they're so tiny. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I mean it is. Well, Gunther, very, I'm sorry. What did you say? So it, tiny? No, I said that? very minimal things. I will have to do the tiniest adjustments. I will have. To yeah, make that's through. what he meant. That's what I for said for sure. Uh, <coughs> definitely not meant. that you're a baby. No, I'm an adult halfling. You are. Thank you. Yes. Uh, please get out of the clothes so I can I can you know work. Okay. <laughs> all right so you do that anything else that i might forget you have clothes you have clothes you have clothes armor just, you just don't have shoes <clears throat> yeah you um find shoes <laughs> any idea where i could uh maybe find shoes i mean we don't unfortunately your feet are quite big yeah <laughs> only thing i can think of i am um, no i don't i don't really know and dirt kind of goes I kind of have an idea. Um, I know we, that Rectavio is a circus performer, correct? And he has a whole bunch of props and costumes. Shoes. Oh, yeah. Perhaps he has very big shoes he can put on your feet. Perhaps shoes of a very strong and noble man and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how I told you that I thought your name was cool? Yeah. I'm speaking to you in Orc right now? Yeah. Fuck you, it's not cool. <laughs> You're dirt again. <laughs> he says back in uh, an orc, very like formal orc, he goes, um, your words are very hurtful, <laughs> but I feel like you're just lashing out in pain. I'm not a clown. And he says back in orc, I never said you were a clown. You implied it. I said that you might need their shoes. <sighs> Fuck you. Okay. Clown shoes. <laughs> clown shoes. Clown Sharks. shoes and baby. Clown, clown shoes and baby. Clown shoes. Clown shoes. <laughs> And they start forming hands, and they start jumping. <laughs> <laughs> this is our moment. This, is the, this episode's called Ridicule. <laughs> I'd, like I'd like to rage. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, no! <laughs> Sean, smash. <laughs> First potato, now this. And now we gotta wear clown shoes. Bullshit. All right, and so you guys start making your way over to the, the abbey? Yes. Or are you making yes. your way to yeah, the, the water end to see if you can get the shoes first? Uh, we'll go to the abbot. Okay. Uh, so you go out to the abbot. You see the uh, the young boy, the the little boy from earlier, and he's outside, and it looks like he's playing jacks. Do you have his bear? Yeah, he has his bear, Going and, from, and he, it seems like Blinsky. It sounds like he's talking to the bear, like it's his friend. And he's no. like, "No, I didn't. I didn't let it bounce too many times. I picked the jacks in time. Okay, you you gotta time me to make sure Shut I do even bear. my faster." Bear, bear. And you see him just playing, and he's talking to his bear. Hi, Lucian. Oh, hello, sir. How are you today? Welcome mm. to the. Is <laughs> that <a> kid? <laughs> Did you know? Yeah. Do you know when your bear tells you to kill people in the church? <laughs> Is that a thing? Do you know that? 
<laughs> no, he goes, hello, welcome back to the uh, St. Andrew's Church. I hope that you are having a lovely day. Th- th- thank you. He's it's acting nice, like very a, formal. It's a nice bear. Oh, also, thank, uh, he, thank he's you. He's not Lucian. No, his, his no, name is, is the little one. The he's, little one. He's Yeska. Lucian no. is in. Uh, yeah, he's in Barovia. the other. Oh, he's, he's Father Lucian. That's he, right. Yeah, Father Lucian. Father he's Yeska. Yeska. That's right. Yeska. Yeska. It's uh, Yeska and Milovich. Yeah. Milovich is the is the Milovich. teenager. Yeah. Stipe. <laughs> and he goes, I heard from Linsky that. A uh, very regal knight came in and bought this, so I am assuming that it was you, and I would like to say thank you. You are. It doesn't make eye contact because he's a kid. <laughs> You're very welcome. And he looks at everyone else. He's like, "Okay, turn around now." <laughs> you just like kick him. Except floor for Rufio. Except <laughs> everyone, turn around now. Except for you. Uh, I don't okay. turn around. Turn around, please. I mostly turn Fine. around. Fine. Okay. Uh, but I'm you still can, peeking. You can roll perception to see if you at disadvantage because you're half turned. Uh, perception, you said. Disadvantage yeah. though, you have to roll again. Take the lower number. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just. Oh. Uh, thirteen. Okay. Uh, he kind of walks up to you and he goes, "Okay, you gotta like kneel down now." And then I kneel down. You kneel down, and he wraps his arms around your neck and he hugs you and he says, "Thank you for my bail." <laughs> and you see this. <laughs> Do you know when your bail? <laughs> you mistress in your ear. Do you know when your bail tells you? <laughs> gives you dark thoughts. <laughs> Sorry, um, and he just says thank you for my bail. I hope I hope that I'm not in trouble about the bones. We did you find them? We have we have the bones, yes, guys. Okay, I was I was scared for a little Every, bit. Everything's gonna be fine. But I feel like because you gave me him, it's like you're you're watching and making sure I don't get hurt, and you're, it's like you're protecting the church too. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Well, thank you. You're and very so welcome. He releases you and he goes, "Okay, you can turn around now." Okay. Everyone turns around and he oh, does yeah. that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Too reflection. And he goes, "Okay, I'm gonna go play jacks now because it's my day off." <laughs> <laughs> Sunday was made for worshiping the sun god and for rest. And boy, are my arms tired from cleaning shit. I'm breaking. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, he's so just I'll, like, yeah, I'm gonna go play now. Uh, have fun, Lucian. I'm gonna try to Yeska. Yeska. Shit. I'm gonna go try to climb that tweet, and my bear's gonna make sure that I don't fall. <laughs> yep, that's that's that gonna that happen. Works. Yep. And you're like that kid's gonna break his neck. He's gonna die. He's, he's gonna dead die. soon. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, um, you see Milovich, and he's doing yard work still. He just kind of scowls as you're doing it and you go you go in and you know Irina's with you and father lucian is in there and it just seems like he's in his office he's just going through paperwork and different kinds of sermons that he's preparing for the night and for the the upcoming uh festival and goes oh you're back my adventurers my heroes i assume you're back and looking the way you are looking and you were successful in finding the bones uh yes we were uh, before, uh, anything. <laughs> nope. You're going to have to try harder than that. Uh, see with your eyes, not with your hands. Um, <laughs> is there anywhere I can go to, um, um, pray to my, my God? Is there somewhere, uh, I can go? We don't, the uh, we don't necessarily have a, uh, a temple to horror. Very old God. Very it's like a corner I can go to. Or? <laughs> you are more than helpful. We're welcome to go to the podium. Uh, we do pray to Pelor, but it is a vessel for all praying. We are all are welcome here. I'll let Absidy and Shark handle their the conversation with okay. uh, Father Lucian, and I'm gonna go pee. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You give him the. Uh, he's short for he's, praying. You're praying to the part. You're praying to the porcelain god. The porcelain god. What are you doing over there? Are you are you are your knees talking to your imaginary friend? Do you know that thing where your friend tells you to kill your other friends because there can only be one? Do you know that? <laughs> okay, so you're you're in his office and you you plop down the bones and he just looks relieved, and he goes, "I hope it was not too much trouble to get these." Uh, <coughs> it was a bit of trouble, and um, I have a favor to ask you if you don't mind. What is the favor? Can we get some holy water? Holy water? I can I can certainly whip up some batches for you. Yes, of course. Yeah, we had to, in order to get this, 
we had to fight off six vampires. Oh, my God. They were here in Velaki? Yeah. Oh, Pelo, uh, by Pelo's light, my, my word, uh, uh, the, are they still here? Or? Uh, no, they're dead. Yeah, we killed them. But a, uh, a woman um, with a, <clears throat> a bronze leg, I uh, believe she said that we could find her at the Vistani camp through um, holy water on them. And there it did a, significant damage to them. Slow down the rose of Vistani here in Velaki. She was able to get past the guards. Somehow. I am not a uh, a uh, racial man. I do not care if any kind of creed, animal, man, beast. All are welcome within my church, but the village of Loki do not take well to Vastani. And she was able to just slip in past gods. Yeah. Didn't she, like, apparate away? She, <coughs> she has a spell of invisibility, but I don't think we should... I don't want to divulge too much about her. Father, she's not she's not here anymore. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the prayer was quick. I'm drinking a lot of water. That's <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, so she, that is she's not within the city gates anymore. Okay, but um, besides the point, yes, you need holy water. I will I will certainly work on that for you. Um, we, we have some vials. Yeah, I was gonna say. How many vials do you have? I have five. Five? Okay. If you have any more that you I think you'd be able I to have. fill, if you have something around, uh, we'll compensate you for it if you like. No, 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 please. You have done more than enough. You have risked your lives for oh, this town. Oh, thank you, Father. Of course. Uh, as many vials as you can give me, I can see if I can fill as much as I can. Uh, for, right, for right now. <clears throat> you have them. Yeah, I might as well give him all, yeah, all of them. Yeah, we can't do the potions. Uh, yeah, we, we don't have time to. We're, we'll make potions when we're traveling. So, yeah, here you go. Uh, how, five. How it's five? Okay. Five. Uh, give me maybe about uh, an hour. Uh, and uh, at this time, Irina's been outside of the the office. Like she's mm-hmm. just kind of been taking in everything. And she go, he goes. Um, you you mentioned you had a friend who needed to live here, and stay here. Yes. Uh, yeah. Are yeah. they with you now? Yes. And they're uh, right outside. They're right out. Okay. So uh, Father Lucian uh, goes out and speaks to Irina, who looks. Um, she looks for like, saw like sad. Because she's leaving you guys. And uh, they start talking to each other in um, Barovian. Which you you guys really haven't picked up on. It's a lot of... It basically sounds like Russian. Kind of... Yeah. It's like uh, <laughs> mixed in with uh, maybe a little like uh, Nordic. It's it's a very, you know, terse kind of language. And when she speaks it, you haven't heard her speak it before. She sounds very soft and gentle. As opposed to this woman that you've met before. Like, badass, you know. And um, she, you know, he said that... He nods and he, he goes, I have a room I will prepare. Um, just, uh, I had one already for you. So, um, if you need to say your goodbyes, I will be working on this. And he, uh, softly goes into his office and he takes, uh, you see him with like a pitcher of water that he brings into his office. He closes the door to give you your privacy. And she, uh, she looks around and smiles and says my boys thank you for bringing me here and keeping your word um i know that uh Gismark had paid you to to bring me um that was uh it was half correct yeah i think so yeah so it is only fair you get the other half and she reaches into her pocket and she pulls out uh, a coin purse and she puts it out. And she goes, you don't have to, please don't offend me. And she looks over at, okay. Okay. So takes it. <clears throat> I don't want to offend her. <laughs> you did your job and you did it very well. Uh, despite some uh, hiccups, but. Hey, you went tough broad. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I am uh, learned from my brother. Yeah. Well, thank you for all the help on the way over here too. We couldn't have. We probably wouldn't have made it here without you. So. Of course. We're gonna miss you. Well, you can always come back, right? And we will. Good. Maybe. Maybe. She smiles. And. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she uh. Each one of you, if um, 
you know, you want to, she, she hugs you shard and she says, you know, she said something to the long, the lines of, you know, you're, you're more than just a beast. You're more than, you're more than, uh, this animal. There is, there is a kind of empathy and kindness to you that you, it seems that you keep your guard up. These people, despite laying into you a lot and messing with you, they seem like they do care about you. And I know that you miss your family, but it seems like this, we might be a family. Yeah. And so she hugs you, kisses you on the cheek. She Like, her arms are wrapped around you as she whispers this to you. Mm-hmm. And then she lets you go. That was kind of long. <laughs> she puts her arms out. <clears throat> yeah, no, we, we just did it. <laughs> you know, I know I'm right here. I can hear you. <laughs> I mean, you guys were married, so... Jealous? <laughs> uh, so she kind of just stands and she waits for the next one of you to come up. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it. Okay. Uh, so, absolutely, you come up. Yeah. All right. And she, she kneels down, and she she embraces you, and she says, you know, <laughs> you are very charming. You are very quick with your wit and with your mind. With your hands, you can be a little impulsive, and um, I feel like that might get you into trouble. And I would be lying if I said I did not want you to get into trouble. I. And she just. Your face is a very nice face, and I would be. Not entirely truthful if I said I did not think of it often. And she goes, so you take care of this and then you come back and we take our date, no? Yes. That you promised. I promise. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one to break a promise. I promise. Okay. What the fuck? Did you you come back? What? You promised to come back. Yes. I mean, okay. no, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and she squeezes you, and uh, she she plant one, plants one on you. Squeeze you? Right here? Yep. Grabs your wiener? <laughs> grabs, your, grabs you by the wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> wow, you are but a tripod. She, she, and she kisses you, and it's, it's just, it's not like a, a peck, it's nice, and it's, you know, she doesn't know if she's going to see you again, and she, you know, so come back, stupid. Uh, I'll come back smart. <laughs> there's that there's that wit you love. Uh, I promise I'll be back. Good. My night. She puts her arms out. You don't she she embraces you. Don't be jealous. Never. Um It is uh you are a very handsome man. Very attractive man. You would make <laughs> you, would, you would make some someone very happy if you were to marry them. But you have a lot of hurt. And you have a lot of pain. And anger. It's hitting a little close to home. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, he looks up to you. Despite what everyone thinks. You are everyone looks to you. These this is I, I don't know what happened to you, and I don't know who hurt you. But you have to let it go. And you have to lead these people, because without you, they are directionless, rudderless, without an oar. Guide them. You're a paladin. I'm working on it. Okay. And she, she kisses you on the cheek. And releases you. And then she goes, my little boy. And Dirt's like... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. I promise myself I wouldn't cry. And she she whispers something to Dirt, and you see his his you know he shudders as he's crying a little bit, and uh, she says something to him, and he just nods, and and you just hear her say over and over, "Take care of him, take care of him, take care of him," and uh, 
He nods and he says, we'll, we'll come back. We'll, we'll come back when we beat this, this bastard and, and then we can, maybe we can, maybe we, the, the curse will be lifted and we can maybe all go somewhere that's sunny. And she smirks and the sad smile comes across her face and she says, I'd like that. So, boys, enjoy your dinner. If you would like to see me before you leave, that is fine with me. But I almost, I need to, uh, need to get my rest and I think, uh, I'm gonna sleep forever now. <laughs> it's been, uh, it's yeah. been quite a journey. Make sure to stay, uh, in the, in the church. <laughs> I'm not leaving this church. We have, a uh, a lot of goals to accomplish before you can leave here safely. Please, and make sure they are done. <clears throat> and she smiles and... I'll, uh, I'll walk out and I'll, I'll grab Jared on the shoulder yeah. and like bring him out okay. and trying to like hint to Shart to give them another like to give them another a minute. Okay. Okay. And uh, when you write Ismark, uh, Shart, tell Shart, him that Shart. tell him that I said what's up. He'll know what that means. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> tell him I said who do you who do you who do you who. He knows what that means. Sure. And she goes okay. I'm coming. <laughs> I needed to talk to his Mark. <laughs> just tell him I said what's up. He knows just, what that means. Just say yo my boy what's up. Um, I'm really going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. I've spent a lot of time, um, alone. And maybe it's Rufio and maybe it's Dirt and maybe it's Shart. But for the first time in a long time, I don't feel alone. And... I think that's from you. And I'm afraid that now that we're leaving, for however long that it is, Mm -hmm. that I'm going to feel that way again. And she she looks and you know, um, she knew, this whole conversation, she's just kind of like um, not squatting, she's like kind of like uh, her knees, her feet are tucked under her. So she's kind of resting on her on her feet, and sorry, her feet are under her, and her she's kind of like I'm not saying like she's on her knees, but her knees are like in front of her. And she's yeah, like, yeah. So she's face level with you, and uh, she takes your hands and she goes, she releases them and she takes off. Uh, it looks like her family crest, and she puts it on you, and she tucks it into your into your shirt. She goes, with this you, I'm not far behind. Thank you. She goes, thank you. No thanks are necessary. And she kisses you again. Mwah. Mwah. And, uh... No kiss. No, no kiss. Trying to put some tongue into that, bro, or what? <laughs> and, yeah. Like she, you know. I don't... Um, yeah. Well. You know, she's, if I don't leave now, I'm never gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd rather you not leave, but We're they need you. on the door. What? We're all like, give our ear like this. <laughs> See if we can hear anything. Um, you just hear kind of like murmurs, and you hear you hear her talking, you hear Absidy talking. You can't really discern any what the, anything what they're saying. I figure it's just a funny visual. And then uh, so like, roll perception for me. Eighteen. Uh, you hear Yeska fall out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Shit. So she yeah. Damn it, bear. <laughs> she. She embraces you for a long time, and she goes, "You could always say goodbye to me before you leave." For for real, real. I'll come back. Come back if it is up to you. Um, I don't. She smiles and she goes, "You are very good with locks, no?" Yes. And you're good at sneaking? I'd say so. Before you leave, perhaps you see me before we can have more private conversation. Uh, yes. And she she smiles and she goes, so you need to go now. Yes, but I will be back with for more private time. <laughs> <laughs> so creepy. Uh, and she goes, she laughs and she goes, I'm going to go see if, uh, 
Lucien is done with your water. They, yeah, they thank you. Um, I, um, uh, she kisses you again, and then she gets up. Uh, and I, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. <laughs> God, all the blood just rushed to my <laughs> rushes from my head. Uh, and so it's another maybe like 15 minutes, and then Father Lucien comes out, and uh, you're all outside, kind of just waiting. And Absidy's just kind of like staring off in space, kind of just doing this. And hey, then um, uh, is yeah. is Irene around, or is she in the church? She's in the church. She's is trying Jessica to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's knocked out. <laughs> Playing. <laughs> Hit the ground pretty hard. Um, <laughs> you, uh, he's okay. He's still playing jacks and shit. Okay. <laughs> you, you gonna be all right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just a lot to, a lot to process. You know. Can't can't have you out there and you not be focused on our our mission. We still have a job to do. I know. It's for you and her now. Do you love her? Not now. <laughs> okay. Not the time. Fucking guy. <laughs> what? I like a good happy ending. <laughs> we have, we have a mission, so just and we'll complete it. We will. Well, boys, do 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 do. So, uh, Father Lucian comes out and he has five vials of water that he had blessed. This has the uh, power of uh, Pelor and his light. And the gods will watch over the you and this water. Okay. Um, so he didn't have uh, any extras that he was able to make? He, you actually get about, you get eight. Eight, eight. vials okay. of holy water. Thank I'm, you, Father. I'm just assuming that I'm taking them. Yeah, you just should we split them or, you, You're the one. Okay. <clears throat> you're still the one. Um, Father, we've been uh, traveling a ways, and, and we have some information that I'm still trying to decipher, but... Is there a crypt for a wizard or, or a house that a wizard lived in or a, some, something? Have you heard anything? A, I know that um, south there is um, a village that was um, abandoned for about decades. Uh, I know that the Burgermaster uh, committed some terrible crimes there. Um and incurred the wrath of Strahd. As far as a wizard, um, there aren't... The, you're speaking of the mad mage of uh, Baratok, of Mount Baratok. Um, he used to skulk around uh, the north shore of Lake Zarevich. Um, it just... It seems like we haven't... Uh, we haven't seen them, and the only real way to get there is by boat, like fish boat. Where could we get one of those? Um, they are, uh, they're usually by the dock of the lake. You should be able to at least come in there one here, you guys, I'm assuming. You use a little bit we of force. Can, we can get a boat. I can get a boat. <laughs> <laughs> we can get a boat. I'm going to own the boat. So he, he says that, I mean, that is your best bet. That's north of, uh, north of here. Well. Thank you, Father, for for all of your your help and the and the holy water and, yeah. and everything. And of course, and please uh, keep if if you can keep uh, in contact with of us. Course. Uh, of Irina course, I'm assuming everything. Irina will be writing to you uh, if you whenever you visit the town, write something to us, and we will know where you are. We can correspond back. Fantastic. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Thank you, boys. Thank Thanks. you. And he, he goes back in, and uh, as you leave, you see Irina in the doorway, and she waves as you go out. All right. Um, and tears, because she loves watching me walk away, but she hates emotional. seeing me leave. Anything uh, anything else you guys would like to do? Uh, while, when, while walking back, I want to role play with them a little bit. Sure. Uh, we're, we're hitting the time. Yeah, we- that's why I wanted to figure, I didn't know if we wanted to go a little bit longer, or what did... I mean, we'll just do this, and then we'll we'll cut it. I just want to figure okay. out, we want to set up the next okay. little bit. Uh, oh, we have dinner tonight. Yeah. We have a lot of things that need to get accomplished in this town before we can leave with a good conscience. Yeah. 
<laughs> we have wine to go look at. We have a burger master to figure the fuck out. We have a tiger. We have a tiger. There's thing. a tiger yeah, and tiger. a creepy bard guy that we might kill, maybe kill. We're probably gonna probably kill. gonna kill. We're probably gonna and kill. And peg leg. And well, is that yeah, offensive? Did I say south. something offensive? You're, we'll ask her. Yeah, <laughs> you'll ask her. Well, <clears throat> I don't know if I can do that. For <laughs> now, you are now. For now we'll just call her Peggy. Uh, <laughs> So, we have a South Vistani camp, we have an abandoned village, we have the North Shore Lake, there's a girl there, apparently, there's a lot to do. What do we do next? We have dinner first, where do we go from here, gentlemen? I mean, dinner's not till tonight, we could at least pop something in, right? Yeah. We'll stop at the wine, Lauren. Yeah, maybe get I some wine for dinner, right? I mean, we're supposed to be helping. We need to be a good house guest. Irwin. Irwin yeah, so. you're right. Yeah, alright, let's, let's do that, then. Okay. All right, gentlemen, let's, uh, let's do it. Okay. As, wow. As you guys reconvene and get ready onto the next uh, the next part of your journey, you you kind of all look at each other, and it's this it's it feels Irina is definitely going to feel like a loss because she's been with you for so long, but you know it. In this weird makeshift de facto family that you've made, you feel like an odd sense of comfort as you as you all look at each other in this silent kind of like bond kind of forms. And as you look around and you see the dim clouds parting and you see a little bit of ray of sunshine. And as you hear the different voices in, of Barovia and you hear the different cause of the different ravens. You all look at each other and you feel this sense of dread as you continue on your journey. And with that, we will end this uh, this session of Curse of Strahd. Oh, shit. Um, I had that took a lot out of me emotionally. Um, yeah, it was a heavy it, one. Yeah, it was a heavy one, but it was good. It was good yeah. for, for everyone. So, yeah. Take Especially it away, Pat. Jessica. Yeah, <laughs> you got a fucking bear. <laughs> um, yeah, um, take it away, Pat. Yeah, so uh, guys, like, subscribe, uh, do that. Follow Justin on Top Tabling, Twitch TV, uh, Twitch TV. Uh, also, you guys have a YouTube channel too, right? Yep. Yeah, Top Tabling, Top Tabling. We'll just do it. Look at it up. Uh, you guys are still doing dice thingies. Yep, we're still doing a dice giveaway. We have all the details on the Twitch page. So please follow and talk to us. That's all I think we really got, guys. So cool. We'll uh, we'll see you next week. Good night. Bye. Good I'm gonna go Goodbye. cry for a million years now because <laughs> I actually got sad. That made me emotional.